So here's how I made a Aladdin costume for my son's book character day at school. It was a flying carpet illusion and everybody was fascinated by this costume and he was quite happy to wear it at school at the book parade. I began by taking a rectangular shaped cardboard and I cut out a circle in the center measuring my son's waist and I laid two scarves like so, hot glued everything in place and took another cardboard with the same measurements and also hot glued this to give it an extra thickness so that the uh, carpet stays flat when my son is put wearing it. Um, I also made sure that the scarves which were hanging on the sides were uh, equal to the length of my son's legs so that his legs are hidden behind those uh, hanging scarves. I also went ahead and hot glued some red uh, fabric to give a different pattern to the carpet to make it look like a real carpet. Now I think the fabric here is a bit see-through so uh, my son's leg would be seen. So I'm going to add another layer of fabric around it but before that here I will add um, an extra pair of track pens. I'm just going to cut out the bottom of the pants, or the back of the pants, sorry, make a big hole and just hot glue it in place really well. And this is how it's going to look. So you can just uh, step inside this tiny hole and the waistband will still stay there and keep the carpet in place. Now for Aladdin's lamp, I had a plastic cup to which I added this nozzle which is made from a Nerf gun bullet. I took off the top, split the bottom of the bullet in twos and uh, just hot glued it on top of the cup like so. Now for the lid, I have taken this part from a protein shake jar. This is how it looks. I had two. So I had uh, I've used one, hot glued it and I glued a ball, a little small sized ball on top. And now I thought it looked like a lamp but the nozzle was really skinny. So I'm going to cut out some cardboard um, and stick it all around the nozzle to make it a bit thicker. So once I was happy with how my lamp looked, I decided to cover it with golden paper because I thought paint wouldn't work really well with the material I have. So I got some uh, tissue paper, golden colored tissue paper and started applying layers of glue and the pieces of golden tissue paper onto the cup. After putting lots of layers of golden paper, actually it lo looked really well. So this is how it looked, after which I went ahead and added some uh, finishing touches. I also made some holes into the lamp and added a uh, fairy light inside to give it a, this magical uh, lamp effect. So yeah, I was really happy with how this looked. Now I started working on the legs for the carpet for which I took two small pieces of pool noodles and stuffed them inside of the pants and also stuffed some um, plastic bags in socks and stuck them onto the carpet to, and um, crossed over the legs like so and also hot glued them in place so they look like real legs. For the thighs uh, of the legs, because they, they didn't look really good, I um, put some plastic bags there too to give it a little um, a thickness. And um, in the end, I also added extra fabric around the flying carpet to make it um, not see-through because uh, earlier, as I told you, that it was so see-through. So this way, the legs were not seen. My son's legs couldn't be seen. And I had some extra fabric or laces lying around, which I just added for the final touches. And this is how it looked in the end. To make sure the carpet doesn't fall down, after my son put it on around his waist, I also used suspenders. Now for clothes, my son had some old looking clothes in his wardrobe that he put on and a hat. Of course a vest would go really well with this, no other thing, only vest and a hat. But because the weather here was really cold at that time, 
we had to put on something warm on so uh, he had a warm layer on the inside of his costume I also added some uh, details on a little monkey soft toy I had to hang around his arm to make it look like Abu and it was actually fascinating his friends were really amazed by how he can float and yeah that's how it looked um, hope you liked this video and thanks for watching goodbye